Finally, she's back. Hey, good morning. Before we start the day, and I, I have something exciting I wanna share, share with you. I need to get some coffee, as you can probably tell. So give me just a second. So I wanna start off by saying that there's no affiliate program. I'm not sponsored. I made this choice for a couple of reasons. One, it was in stock, because if you're in the RV market, trailer RV market, they are tough to find in stock. And I got super lucky to be in the right place at the right time and bought this new trailer from Jayco, J-Flight. It's the Baja edition, 19 and a half foot trailer. And I'm super, super excited to start adding this to the fishing scene. Some of you that have been a part of my channel for some time know the story behind this particular trailer. And those of you that are new, it's a pretty good story because it starts off with just elation, right? Of picking up our brand new 2023 Jayco trailer and just transforming our camping experience to kind of a disappointing happening to a complete disaster. And we're gonna talk about whether or not Jayco and Camping World stepped up to the plate. So it's a good story. So first, let's start off with something happy, right? I was so thrilled to pick this up for my family. We couldn't wait to go camping. I mean, it was just, we were just thrilled about having a trailer and just kind of moving out of the tent camping world and getting into the RV. And one of our first trips were to the ocean and it was just a fantastic trip. There we go. That's a good fish too. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Camping this weekend and now I'm gonna go take a little bit of time, drive up into the mountains and see if maybe I can find a, a cutthroat or a wild rainbow. So besides a few minor issues, which we know happens with trailers, right? You're gonna have a few things that might go wrong. We had a little USB plug that wasn't working, but no big deal, right? $10 on Amazon and that thing was working again. Now the first rain happened here in Washington. We had a very dry summer. We had the trailer for a little over a month before having a rain event. And we did find that there was a leak in the roof. So kind of disappointing to get into the trailer when I was gonna do the winterization and found a big puddle of water in a light fixture on the ceiling. But no worries, right? My, my wife and I were, were willing to overlook this leak. Camping World, Jayco was gonna stand behind it and fix it. And you know, we're a little worried about all the damage that could have happened in between the roof and the ceiling panel, but you know they were gonna stand behind it. So we thought, okay, no big deal. That was no big deal. But then, then we, we took a trip. We were so excited about this trip too. Pyramid Lake, massive Lahatan cutthroat trout. And you just have, you just have to watch the video to, to fully appreciate what happens next. There she goes. into my backing.
And then disaster, right? I'm talking what everyone fears when they own an RV and they're camping, the worst case scenario happened. Beautiful trip, I mean, we're in Pyramid Lake, giant Lahat and Cutthroat Trout, camped on the beach, everything was set up perfectly. And then I'm out there fishing, I just released a fish, I'm tying on a new fly, and I hear my wife screaming at me from the trailer, fire. No one wants to hear that, ever, while camping. Well, and just like that, the Pyramid Lake trip is over because the trailer caught on fire. un effing believable Yep, had a fire behind the stove. So my wife was putting some coffee on and next thing you know, smoke was billowing out and we had to, she had to put it all out with a fire extinguisher. So we got a big mess to clean up and a long drive home. Oh, it's important to note, right? At this time, when this colossal event happened, we didn't even have a license plate on this thing. This thing was less than 90 days old, brand spanking new, first owners, and brand new trailer, right? Less than 90 days. So needless to say, we were just ridiculously disappointed uh, that this happened. I mean, for one, if my wife Amy wasn't Johnny on the spot with this thing, this whole trailer could have just lit up and just been a, a giant Roman candle out there in the beach in Nevada. So. We were very fortunate that she got on that fire very quickly and put it out, but what a colossal mess. And I don't know if any of you have ever expelled the full contents of a fire extinguisher. It makes a ridiculous mess. I mean, we're talking everything coated, all the food ruined, whatever fishing gear I had inside here was completely coated, all of our clothes, the entire trailer, and that chemical residue a, it's a huge irritant for your eyes and your skin. And we had to be in there. Well, Amy had to be in there for a short time to put the fire out. So she was breathing all that stuff in. So here we are in the aftermath of a trailer fire. Um, bedding's all coated. Just everything is dust. I don't know if you can see the dust coming up. I was heating water and making coffee for Dan out there fishing, and yeah, it. I smelled, thought it was what I thought was steam was smoke once I started hacking and got out the fire extinguisher and put it out. But yeah, um, it's really unfortunate. Brand new trailer. We had both burners on in the stove. We kicked on the furnace. It sucked down the flame into kind of the internal components above the furnace and below the cooktop and ignited the LP gas line on fire and started to travel up the wall. So if Amy wouldn't have been right on that thing, this thing would have just lit up and who knows, right? It's got a, it's got a pretty big tank in the front. You know, could have been a big mushroom cloud on the beach if we were on this thing. So it was a tough battle with Jayco. They, they, I, I can't, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna say that they're easy to work with because they weren't. They stonewalled me at that customer service department and kept repeating over and over that they're gonna, they're gonna work within the limited warranty of your particular trailer, right? So we were on the hook for everything that we lost, food, clothing, all of the stuff we had to throw away that couldn't get clean, all the professional cleaning that we had to do, all of our time and effort. You know, they basically just told us they're not gonna do anything about it at all. So we started talking with Camping World and this is where the story has a happy ending. Camping World stepped up for us, right? They've got some big muscles, right? Because they're they're one of the biggest RV sellers, I think on the planet. And Camping World worked with Jayco and worked with us and made us very happy customers. They took care of everything, right? They fast forwarded everything with Jayco, so everything got fixed under warranty without problem. They compensated us for all of our losses. So super happy, big shout out to Camping World when it comes to how they take care of their customers. So very happy ending in this story that Camping World stepped up and I really wanna reinforce that. So the lesson here is when you, when you have to deal with the manufacturers directly, not a great experience. When you deal with a retailer like Camping World that really do stand behind their customers and the products that they sell, we had a great experience with Camping World. So big shout out to them for making this gigantic problem 
go away for us and, and really turning my wife and I into happy customers. So thrilled about that. So we're very anxious to get this back out and doing a little camping again. So stay tuned for the next video and hopefully by early spring, we'll have this out doing a little fishing. All right, well, thanks thanks for joining me. And if you're curious on that, uh, that, that series, that video series I did at Pyramid Lake, I caught some stupid big Lahatan cutthroat trout. I mean, this the the world record is held at Pyramid Lake for this this particular species of cutthroat. So it's a great watch. Check out this video right here if you enjoy watching ancient giant cutthroat trout being caught. All right, till the next time, fish on.